So translocation 1114 is gaining, uh, you may know, a uh, revigorated interest in myeloma uh, for a few reasons. Uh, one is that uh, the appreciation that it has a somewhat distinct uh, biology um, uh, with the disease behaving uh, a little bit more like a lymphoma uh, than uh, multiple myeloma you know, in terms of the degree of differentiation of the malignant plasma cells, um, the fact that it's more likely to, for example, uh, express uh, you know IgM uh, than other uh, types of multiple myeloma, and also uh, of course some of the interest comes from the fact that for the first time we have a target um, um, that uh, you have you know in eleven fourteen a targetable a targetable um, um, marker myeloma. I think we have now the advent of venetoclax is showing. Uh, exquisite activity on that subset of patients. So what our group uh, at, at UAB did is uh, tap on a very large data set from uh, flat iron with uh, thousands of patients uh, treated uh, throughout the United States, mostly in academic, in non-academic setting. And most of those patients receiving modern therapy uh, with uh, either triplets or or PI or EMID uh, doublets as part of the initial therapy. Um, so when we get such a large data set, you can appreciate nuances of prognosis that's sometimes hard to do on any single institution on any clinical trial. So what we uh, verify was uh, we confirmed prior observation that patients with 1114 translocation, they have somewhat of an intermediate uh, prognosis that is not as uh, unfavorable as uh, you know, deletion 17P or translocation 414 or 416, but it's not as favorable as uh, uh, deletion 13Q or, uh, or uh, hyperdeployed. Uh, that observation had been uh, made before. Uh, but what we found quite uh, uh, intriguing, uh, and I think is novel, is that we're able to observe uh, some interaction between 1114 and other cytogenetic abnormalities. Uh, for instance, uh, you, if you zoom in the subset of patients who have 17P deletion, which are, of course, the, the worst possible prognosis, uh, it has been known that an additional, for example, 414 translocation uh, worsens the prognosis. And we found the same to be true uh, for 1114. So an 1114 on top of 17P or varsiversis is just as detrimental as a 414 uh, on top of deletion 17P. Uh, interesting, the same type of uh, um, um, uh, uh, connection was not, did not happen with patients with abnormality of chromosome 1. Uh, so if you have uh, a, you know, gains or amplifications of 1Q, for example, uh, having additional 1114 does not seem to, to change that prognosis, which is already poor uh, in, um, in any uh, particular way. Uh, so I think this is uh, helpful, creates a kind of real world benchmark of how 11, 14 patients uh, 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 do in, with, with relatively modern therapy, but also creates some nuances uh, um, that, uh, that are important in appreciating the interaction between 11, 14 and other cytogenetic abnormalities.